My name is Hannah Heinbuck. I'm originally from Homer, Alaska. I live now in Kodiak. I am a vessel owner and a deckhand, depending on what time of the year is, what fishery I'm in. I'm Teresa Peterson. Um, I live in Kodiak, Alaska as well. We have a, a little boat that our son runs for seining, and I'm here with my good girlfriend and co-worker Hannah on, on, on my little boat that I use for, for gill netting down at the south end of Kodiak Island, and I've um, been fishing out of Kodiak for 33 years now. It's hard to decide when I got started in the fishing industry. But I was in my early 20s when I started fishing for my dad more professionally. I've been a salmon fisherman ever since then, about 15 years now. I wasn't expecting how important it became to me and how quickly. It was like I was finally part of something I'd been waiting to be part of my whole life. Everything changed from that first summer I was out there on the back deck with my brother and finally part of that life and culture that I had seen all my life but never really stepped into. It was, it was quite a shift and haven't looked back since. I got into the fishing industry by pure happenstance, really. Um, in 1983, some I was going to college at UC San Diego. Some friends were heading up to go work in Homer. So I decided to come along too and just check out Alaska. No, no expectations of staying here. And through the course of that summer, I was really intrigued by the fishing boats, by the fishing industry, by the people that were involved with it. I found the entire thing just fascinating. So I ended up quitting the job at the cannery and walking the docks until I, I found a fishing job. Stayed with it ever since, just kept working my way up. And I did not realize at that moment when I was looking for a fishing job that I was making a career choice as well. When I first started out west in the 80s, there weren't as many women involved in, in fisheries, particularly running boats and even on uh, deck then as there is now. But right off the get-go, I found that women that were involved in the industry were extremely supportive of each other. It's so great these days to see the number of women that are involved in the industry and then the number of women that are running boats is just phenomenal. Every year I watch it grow and I think so much of that is just the support that's been shown to women and respect in the in the industry. And I would say what's been really important for me as a woman on a boat is to challenge myself and then demonstrate that I can do all of the work and we can. We might have to maybe have to do it a little differently or sometimes you can't quite lift that thing and you need to call your your buddy over on deck to help you but that's also part of being a healthy part of a good crew is knowing when to ask for help. I've been really fortunate that I've had wonderful men in this industry mentor me my entire life and especially through my professional career. Fishing can be uncertain, it can be dangerous, it's hard, it's, it's a lot of things, but I think that we have a really important role of being basically ambassadors to the wild ecosystem, to the ocean, to this incredible marine environment. I take that role um, really strongly. And people people are fascinated by Alaska. People are fascinated by commercial fishermen all over the world. They want to feel connected to these wild places. And I think helping to emphasize that it's really a, it's a symbiotic relationship, showing respect for our wild creatures in our ecosystem. I think that's something that's in, you know important for all of us to recognize. We're taking from something and so I feel it's part of our job to to give back and so it's it's part of helping people understand the fish on their plate but also understanding the incredible value of where it comes from.